Chess is a game of many opportunities. There is a big difference between a losing position and actually losing the game. A losing position is a position with best play from your opponent. You will lose the game. When you are in a losing position, your job is to create as many problems for your opponent as possible. The best way to do that is to keep a positive attitude and not give up. Let's look at some examples of how to defend losing positions. In this position, Black is up a bishop and is doing well. Black's best move is to gain more material and offer a trade of rooks with rook takes a2. When you have a material advantage, it's usually a good idea to offer trades, especially if you can remove your opponent's greatest source of counterplay, the queen. For this reason, Black plays queen to f6, skewering the white queen to the unprotected rook on a1. In general, the losing side wants to keep things complicated and to avoid trades, especially the most powerful piece, the queen. White finds a clever idea with queen takes d6. White captures a pawn and offers the rook on a1. In a winning position, you should always look for your opponent's counterplay, especially checks. Black doesn't think that white has any real threats and quickly captures white's rook with queen takes a1. What idea did black overlook? Now that the queen no longer protects d8, white plays queen to d8 check, forcing king to h7. And white salvages a draw from a losing position with queen h4 check. After king g8, white will force a draw after queen d8 check. This is known as a perpetual check. Black cannot escape white's checks and the game is a draw. Always remember to look for perpetual check opportunities when you are in a difficult or losing position. Let's take a look at another example. In this position, white is up a rook and a pawn and is offering a trade of queens. If the queens are traded, black has no counterplay and will surely lose. Instead of accepting a losing position, black plays the resourceful queen to g7. Black refuses to trade queens, keeping the position complicated. After queen to g7, black has even set up a trap. Do you see it? Remember, the winning side should always look out for chances for counterplay, especially all checks and captures the opponent can make. But when you have a winning advantage, it is easy to get happy and overlook your opponent's ideas. In this position, white should have noticed that black's queen now lines up on the same file as white's king. Always a dangerous situation. With that in mind, white just needs to eliminate any tactics by playing king to h1, removing any possible tricks in the position. Instead, white lunges forward with h4. Thinking that black's checks were useless, missing the fact that after knight f3 check, white's bishop is pinned, so black forks the king and the queen. It is easy to get discouraged when you throw away a winning position, but it is important to focus on what you can do now and not worry about the past. After king to f1 and knight takes e1, even though things look difficult for white, after rook takes e1, white should be able to still draw this position. Notice that white's king protects the bishop and pawn on f2, so the only targets black has is the unprotected b4, and h4 pawns. After queen to d4, if white doesn't get discouraged and looks for the best moves, white can hold the position with rook to e4. Attacking black's queen and protecting both the b4 and h4 pawns. After queen to d1 check and rook e1 and queen to b3, black cannot make progress after rook e4. All of white's pieces protect each other. Even though white threw away a winning position, white can still avoid losing by playing careful defense. 